Thailand is stepping up security in Bangkok as the city braces for more anti-government protests. Nearly 6,000 police will be deployed around the Crown Property Bureau, that is the office that manages the royal fortune. Saksit Sayasambat reports. Thai police have put up extensive roadblocks in the old part of Bangkok in anticipation of a new anti-government protest calling for sweeping reforms of the country's political system, including the powerful monarchy. And the monarchy is again the target of this new protest, with activists planning to march onto the Crown Property Bureau. But police have already put up barbed wires at that place and a wide security perimeter covering much of the Lucid district, where also one of the main royal palaces is located. In fact, security Security officials will not let anyone go near the bureau closer than 150 meters. The Crown Property Bureau officially manages the financial fortunes of the royal family. In 2018, it has granted King Maha Wajiralongkorn full and personal control and ownership of the assets. The office said then in a statement that the king may manage the funds at, quote, his discretion. The total amount is officially not known, but according to foreign estimates from a couple of years back, it is believed to be worth at least 30 billion U.S. dollars. And it's all not only money, it's also a lot of land, including prime real estate here in Bangkok and large shares in companies, including the Siam Commercial Bank. One of the protesters' demands for royal reforms also touches upon the king's finances as well, essentially calling it to make it more transparent. That is another taboo that has been previously curtailed by the draconian Les Majest laws that could punish criticism of the royals with up to 15 years in prison. But as protesters have threatened to step up their campaign for vast political changes, but also the Thai government threatening to use, quote, all available laws against them, there are fears that the current wave of mostly youth-led protests could be met with a much harder response than previously seen. Saksit Sombat, CNA, Bangkok.